some star anise and a few cloves and some vanilla powder and a little bit of orange. We already have our sugar inside and now we're going to pop our fruit. We'll keep these for later for poaching in another syrup. This has already been heated so I've already brought this sugar and wine here to the boil and now we're going to add our fruit. Normally you do this on the stove but we'll just, for the purpose of this demonstration we'll do it over here to begin with. And then to keep the, to keep the fruit submerged and to help with an even heat we make what's called a cartouche and you can see here I've just folded my paper into quarters. From quarters we're just going to fold it in and then fold it upon itself until it's as fine as we can get it. Roll it up nice and tight. Take yourself a pair of scissors and measure from the centre. Cut it to size and when we unwrap it we'll have a circle which will cover nicely on top to help keep the fruit submerged. And that's going to stay there during the whole cooking process. And over we go to the stove. So once we put this on the stove to poach, it's really important that we turn down the flame as far as it will go, get it nice and low without it going out, because you want to make sure that there's no real turbulence. You need enough heat around 92 to 95 degrees but you don't want any turbulence. So if you have a look in here, that's heated up nicely. You can see the steam coming off it, but there's no movement of liquid. If that, if that was boiling away, what would happen is the fruit would break down. It would disintegrate. You'd lose all your fruit. So it's a nice, slow cooking process. The cartouche goes on. Periodically, we'll get a spoon in there and we'll turn them around just so that they cook evenly on both sides. How long it takes to cook depends on the fruit. If the fruit's really ripe, it could be 30 minutes. If it's quite green, it could be an hour and a half. So we're going to check this, and when it's ready, we'll come back and we'll have a look at it on the bench.